How do you see the future of Indian football after your retirement? See these questions now I think about it. I didn't set up any goals. June 6th is when I retire. June 7th we'll spend a lot of time crying. Can you throw some light on the way the medical and the paramedical staff guided you to maintain your optimum level of health and fitness consistently throughout your journey? How difficult was it to maintain everything health wise as you matured into the game? Oh they were amazing. they were amazing i think individually to take care of of my health in terms of precaution wasn't that difficult uh, wasn't i mean i will not term it as a sacrifice it, it came naturally to me the more information i gathered the more people around me who were knowledgeable and and who gave me the information to take it on board and to try it and to and to apply it to myself wasn't difficult at all it's a part of being a footballer especially a modern footballer so that wasn't difficult neither was it a sacrifice and i was really blessed to have a lot of people who had a lot of good information a lot of good knowledge yeah, and as, as far as uh, the cure part is concerned where i did get injured or where i was struggling with pain and aches here and there in that department in my national team all the physios all the doctors all the masseurs have been have been outstanding uh, as i said i've spoken to them and i've i've, I've express my gratitude a lot of times but i want to say it again without them and without sounding bias but there is one particular person which is gg george he has been with the national team for last i don't know 12 plus years he is one of uh, one of the main reasons why i have i have taken i've i i've been able to take on the pitch and and perform many times when i, when I thought and i'm i'm generally quite optimistic when i thought like i couldn't but he has been along with him all the other people the masters and the doctors and everyone have been have been remarkably responsible for me to play as many games as i have played it it wouldn't have been possible and i genuinely mean it uh, there were times where i i i couldn't even walk they made me run there were times where things looked very dim as far as my injuries were concerned but they just uh, they just applied their magic and uh, i i i i couldn't be more thankful for whatever they have done i wouldn't have completed one of the games how do you see the future of indian football after your retirement very bright i'm really optimistic uh a lot of fight for different positions uh we did talk about in number 9 one where there are a lot of candidates who are doing well uh, unfortunately they don't play enough games in that position in 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 isl and in due time i hope that changes uh, but a lot of lo- lot of the attacking players are doing really well whether you take the two finalists you know the liston and the manveers or the bipin uh, vikram pratap or the changte or thapa playing as a number 10 or sahal all these attacking players they have done really well uh, we i do understand a number 9 is a very specific one but i'm pretty sure with the talent we have and with the hunger we have we will get it we need to be a little bit patient when i say we i mean the whole country uh, but with the structure that we have uh, with the with this team that we have the camaraderie and everything i'm pretty sure uh, to start with a lot of boys are going to chip in and then eventually we'll get one kids from the next generation will only be able to see you uh, through youtube highlights videos or highlights reels they might not be able to understand how you were able to change the dynamics of indian football in the last 19 years so for the next generation how do you want to be remembered a lot of top players i have some videos that kids are going to watch when you when you say kid i have got one at my home i'm pretty sure when he grows up he going to say to to kya kya fir aapne you know and and it's 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 it, it's a part of 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 being an older generation mm, when i was playing i never played for this reason that some day people are going to you know brag about me or praise me as far as being praised is concerned i've got so much and beyond so my my ego or my kit is full uh, i'm in peace and i'm really happy and i've lived a dream so yeah the the younger generation will say that i'm pretty sure about it and that's the way it is it's always like that uh, so yeah it's okay and there there'll, there'll be other players who are going to be do who are, who are going to be doing well and that generation kids are going to talk about those players so it's it's quite normal that's the way life is so his question is on all the international goals you scored he asks which one is your favorite and do you have any hollow feeling as you just missed 
the rare chance of scoring 100 international goals i will answer the second part first no i don't when i started i never thought i'm going to score these many goals at no point whether it was at 60 goals 65 goals 70 goals did i think or dream of scoring hundreds hundred of goals because it was never a part of of any planning any agenda or, or any dream i don't feel hollow i'm just very fortunate 150 games that's a number that i really love and i'm pr- i'm proud of 150 games playing 19 years for the country is is unique and uh, i'm just very fortunate privileged and happy about it as far as number of goals is concerned i'm just happy that i could score 94 times for my country not reaching 100 uh, it, it, it 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 doesn't bother me at all i never thought about it to tell you my favorite goal it's difficult it's difficult and and uh, i will answer it but probably i'll change my answer in 10 days if you ask me again but the one goal that i that i can think of right now is the goal against kyrgyzstan i think that's one game that we played really well in bangalore when we had to qualify in the last edition last last edition of the asia cup and we defended really well and to score that goal in counter and jj's pass was was outstanding so that one goal comes to my head right now you said earlier that you were thinking about the decision for months so how long were you thinking about it i think i think it took quite a while every day i was i was fighting within me and try to analyze stuff and you know i'm try- i was trying to think more holistically when the instinct came it was so individual it was so narrow you know it was so selfish if i can say it, because i was just thinking about myself but then i took time and i was thinking about everything and eventually i came to this decision and it it, it wasn't easy and it took some time but now when i'm talking to you i can tell you i'm i'm in peace and i think i took the right decision and uh, yeah and now i i i only have gratitude playing for 19 years 150 games is is extraordinary and i know this whole press conference is all about me last two days has all only been about me but i'm doing this press conference only with the hope that we finish it today from tomorrow it's just normal about the national team and about kuwait enough of sunil chetri and enough of his retirement things i got a lot of adulation in the last two three days my phone has been off because of the number of messages and calls i've got i feel myself as very fortunate but i hope you understand that for tomorrow it ends and then we just talk about kuwait and our our qualification what do you hope your legacy will be and uh, how do you want to be remembered by the future generations and fans a very good looking and hard working play i think because see these questions now i think about it a lot of time before when they asked me what what's going to be a legacy i, I never paid any heed but now when i think about it the, the the one legacy or the one thought that at least the footballers who come after me when they remember me they should think that he was a hard working person and and that pays off 150 games for the country because of the hard work a lot of other attributes are important for a player to do well but if there's one thing that i want to leave behind me that you got to work really hard of course and the most good looking player also uh in the announcement video that you posted you mentioned quote and quote the ones who were thinking that i should retire i hope this makes you happy uh he asks did the detractors who are who argued you had overstayed your welcome play any part in your eventual decision at any point no that was a very small number when i said the ones who wanted me to retire majority of them were good well wishers also it's not only the if a few numbers who thought that i uh, oh stayed or i should have retired early or or whatever but a lot of majority of the people who genuinely wanted good for me and and in a good way wanted me to retire to them also and to be honest no matter what and which category you are in the onus is not on you that was just a this nice dig that i hope everyone is happy the decision was all mine for the reasons that only i know it wasn't because when i i, I think when i signed bangalore fc when i was 29 since then i'm hearing that is done and i should finish so if I, if i had to hear people i would have been done at the age 
or 30 or then i heard in 31 32 people were quiet 33 again they started 34 they were always shouting you should retire 35 they were a little bit calmer so even an odd went on so it's not it's not people man i i don't take the 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 adulation and 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 the criticism too much into my head when it comes to making decisions a lot of people talk with a lot of emotions and i understand that i'm also a fan of sports when you watch sports you are you always emotional and you say things but my decision was was entirely because of what i thought so yeah that was just just to make everyone happy uh, how do you look back on your long career in the national team as a national team captain do you think uh, you have achieved all the goals that you set out as a professional footballer i didn't set up any goals a long term ones as and when i went through we had the, the 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 goals in our side like qualifying for the asia cup like right now we have one which is to go to the third round of the world cup and if i could see it with me being on the team that would be amazing but i never had when i started playing for the country i never had you know those long term dreams we are a country who is a developing nation in in, in football uh so every match we just want to keep improving where we want to reach is a is a long distance and all the football lovers here in the in this chat they understand what i'm saying slowly and steadily we took five steps then we went back three steps then we took two steps we we, we went back one step it's been tough it over it has not been easy but uh, slowly and steadily if you see a longer graph in the last 10 years we are going towards where we want to go we want to be in the top 10 of asia and stay there we want to rub our shoulders with the best in asia it's not going to be easy 16 to 19 or 16 to 20 this is where we genuinely are in 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 asian rankings we we, we want to go to the, the 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 top 10 and stay there that's realistic and the next important target that we have as a nation apart from that no i did not have any long term targets that helped me that's the way i always thought the next game the next 10 days training and yeah dekhte dekhte 19 years and i'm here so about your plans after uh, international retirement june 6th is when i retire june 7th already said uh, we'll spend a lot of time crying from june 8th i will try and relax and and take an off there was a 10 days off in between after my last isl game but i did poorly because i got chicken pox and my wife and my kid are are, are annoyed at me my wife more so because i gave her also the chicken pox so after june 8 i will take a break uh, i want to stay with my family and then from july first week we'll start our preseason with bangalore fc in bengaluru last year uh, you had said there's still time for uh, retirement so which was the first moment when it struck you that uh, you uh, it, it would be the time to retire 10 15 days post afghanistan game i think i don't know the exact date but that's the time when i start thinking thinking as to after the instinct of course uh how i feel physically what are our next goals what is going to happen to the national team what are the matches how does it look all these things uh taken together and hence i i came to the to the decision you know i i i i, I don't know how how you will understand it but also one of the thing that internally i always had and i think few of you here would understand what i'm saying next is it is of prime importance to me that i bring value to the team sometimes it might happen because of who i have become that i'm still carried by the team and that is something that i never wanted the way you gaze it is in training uh in terms of numbers when it comes to you know our gpss in terms of what i bring to the table so i always wanted uh, at least for my national team that it doesn't matter 15 14 13 12 years 100 games till the time i'm here i i i had some value uh when you are at your prime and doing well you add more value when you are not in that much of form you bring less value but it keeps going but now i i i i came to a, a stage where i really wanted to leave the national team and i know i'm leaving it in a very nice way because there are so many players who are going to do well 
and that was always something that i wanted and i'm i'm really happy that 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 this is going to happen i hope there's still 14 days and i and i make it to the first level and uh, yeah and, and i just and it's it, it's outstanding it's a great feeling for any player if you ask that he brings value to the team uh, so that was also one of the reasons of of my thought process so what does it take to be sunil chetri and what is your message to the next generation out of whom some of whom who wants to be like you so what does it take to be me mate it's a it's a 10 hour movie man a lot of things that i a great family a great surrounding an extraordinary wife some outstanding friends amazing teams that i've played with amazing coaches that i've trained under a lot of people have worked really really hard for me to achieve whatever little more that i've achieved and it is not a favorable speech it is not me trying to make everyone happy it's a pure fact a lot of people behind the scene work tirelessly hard for me to do what i've done whatever little or more that i've achieved is because of a lot of people so yeah so if you want to if you want the recipe we talked about hard work uh having the gene of mr kb chetri and sushla chetri helps and then having an outstanding team having outstanding people around you helps uh and yeah that's the recipe you went to play in portugal for uh, sporting uh, cp would you have loved to stay longer in europe instead of returning to india in 2012 was it a conscious decision coming back to india or would uh, would you have loved to keep playing in europe if given opportunities the small caveat that i was 17 or 18 when i went there i was 24 25 i not only would have loved but i wouldn't have come back if i was 17 and uh, purely because the level that i was training every day was was outstanding i was in one of the best clubs as far as talent management and and nourishing talents is concerned the setup there is 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 amazing i used to train with with top players and i used to enjoy it but because i was 24 25 and not playing and not getting enough game time was hampering my head so even though physically monday to friday you're feeling so good you are upbeat but getting 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes wasn't doing enough uh for my morale and that is the reason why i came back uh four year deal i had with them if i was 16 17 i would have closed my mind closed my eyes and everything and i was just stayed because uh, i know for a fact i was becoming a better player every day in a very rapid r- rapid pace i was training with one of the best players there so i would not have i enjoyed my time uh, in 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 lisbon it's an amazing city i had some amazing friends over there even the youngsters that i used to train with uh, for example eric dyer was there bruma was there all of them were really nice really respectful uh, so i would not have i would have stayed there and who knows what would have happened but it's not a uh, a regret call cuz look at me i've got more more than what I've, i i ever dreamt but uh, just to answer purely in the question based if i was 16 17 i would have stayed there for four years skipper you have made the country proud on numerous occasions and on june 6 it is on the citizens to give you a memorable farewell so what are you what are your expectations from the passionate home crowd on your final game in kolkata just come and 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 encourage us as what you are doing uh, a lot of grounds in our country have done amazingly when we talk about national team and salt lake is is there it's 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 unbelievable uh it's derived a lot by the fans who are supporters of moon bagan east bengal or mountain or, or local clubs but strangely no matter how these clubs are doing in that year whenever the national team plays they come in numbers and and they are outstanding so just don't be nervous i know it's a big game let's enjoy it as much as we can come in numbers enjoy it and hopefully hopefully we can all go happy 
how do you feel about all the love uh, that you've received uh, after you announced your retirement and the second part uh, due to all the love you have received and all the reactions how hard has it been to focus on the upcoming game for a qualification from a qualification point of view the second part is not that difficult i've done it for last 20 years uh the first part was pleasantly shocking even though i've been i've got more than the bargain when it comes to affection and love from from the fans but now when i see it uh, not only on social media but the messages that i'm getting my family is getting is 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 outstanding uh i'm glad that i could have a little bit of impact like that on on people um outstandingly fortunate for getting so much of love and uh, yeah it's 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 surreal uh, it feels really great uh, but today it ends and that is why we did this press conference because from tomorrow we get it to to the kuwait game so i have enjoyed the last two days uh, so much of love so much of affection it's it's outstanding very few people uh get this it's it's very unique i'm very fortunate fortunate and i don't take it for granted and the only way that i know to return back all this love is is on on 6th so thank you thank you for all the messages to all of you it really means a lot uh why the decision on your retirement now uh, was it because you felt like uh, you may not be able to continue uh as you have in the past i i believe you already answered that as well but i still answer it 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 wasn't because of the physical aspect and you will see me doing 11 kilometers and all the speed ones at at bangalore fc especially the way we have played in the last couple of years i i will need to run more mm-hmm. it wasn't about the physical thing i feel really fit running chasing defending the physical part is never too difficult it takes a little bit of hard work but it's not too difficult uh, as i have aged i've done better it's not me trying to push myself with just stats uh but it's a mental part as i said it started with an instinct i cannot explain it to you why it came because even i don't know when the instinct came that this is it you should stop and then i started thinking about a lot of things but trust me the physicality wasn't one of them uh, if it was i would have i would have openly said it but it's not running defending and fighting is the is is the easier part from others in 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 football if you take care of your body you will do well a lot of players in india and worldwide are playing even at a age when a lot of people thought that they should have retired so i think the the difficult part is here yeah, it's not easy uh, you know when you when you grow older a lot of priorities changes so all of these minute things became big when the the final decision was to be taken but it started with the next thing it just just came to me this is it this is it kid you are done this is it uh what is your single greatest achievement in your international career is there a particular moment that you will miss once you hang up your india jersey if you could sum up the 19 year career in one sentence would it be? i will miss everything about the national team everything the first time the names were announced on either times of india or hindustan times and all of us the young ones we had the cut out and we kept it from then to now when it comes to all the social media channels from that part from preparing and thinking that you're going to be in the national team from coming here from the first night when you when you sit and talk with the with the bachung butias and the renedi singhs to now with Changte with Gogoi with Suresh I'll miss everything I'll miss the preparation I will miss the camaraderie I will miss the match days I'll miss the national anthem and everything sometimes because I've played 150 games sometimes you you feel that this will never end and in that context you take it for granted but now because this is my last game oh I'm I'm just enjoying every bit of it right from the breakfast with the boys to double time training to ice bath everything so 
the missing part of the national team everything that i'll miss and uh, one of the most important that's what the question was the one of the most important days or moments isn't it uh, the best and worst moments in your national team career yeah oh worst there are many man yeah personally getting injured and not playing for the national team were one of the bad ones but i think not qualifying for the asia cup because of a dismal performance by me and the whole team in 2015 is something that i always think about we playing in myanmar that was one of the qualifiers and then after that we had one more but we should have won that game we had so many chances and individually and collectively we were poor and that stayed with me for a long time that haunt that game haunted me even now when i'm saying i i feel a little bit of anger on myself and on all the players that we played that game so i think that would be and one of the good moments again because of the what you're playing on 50 there are many uh and i hope june 8th i can tell you that the best moment was the game against kuwait you are going to play your last match from kolkata any message for the fans in kolkata thank you uh from my heart shawai ke thank you starting theke ekhon obdi jei time e ami monmane khechilam is bangale khelechilam na hole national team e khelechilam for all your love affection thank you and not only about me because we are we are we are making sure that it's all about me today but from the entire national team thank you so much the latest memory that we have is jokun apna shobhai ese ama dekhe for the qualifiers you had you had cheered us up and that was outstanding so i don't have to tell you keep supporting because i know you will do it i just have a lot of gratitude and thank you so much shobhai bala thakbe in what capacity will you be interested to serve indian football in the future as ideas are already being floated uh one or maybe max to i don't know one year i'm there with bfc i don't know when that journey will end after that i really want to take a sabbatical uh i don't want to jump in in anything of course i will never be far from indian football in this way or that way but again as i said i really want to bring some value so i will look within myself as to what i am good at what i can bring to the table but before that it's just going to be me my family and just relax they have uh, sacrificed a lot uh, i haven't i've just worked hard and enjoyed it but they have sacrificed a lot so i would uh, till the time wo mujhe jhel sakte hain tab tak main unke sath rahunga jab wo mere se pak jayenge bore ho jayenge then i will think about my next step football has given me a lot and one of the most important thing it has given me is that i can i can buy time take my time and then whenever i'm ready i'll i'll come back from a jungle or a mountain and uh, yeah i'll i'll, I'll add value uh, i will definitely want to give back to to football and and to the society but i definitely would want to know first what i'm good at and where i can add value Have you also thought about your final match venue before uh, finalizing Kolkata as it holds Im- immense significance in Indian football history? No, the venue at that time. No, I think the venue had been decided, but the venue was not the first reason, as I said. But after when I decided that this is going to be my last game, I was happy that it's 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 Calcutta, Kolkata. I'm really happy that it's Salt Lake. It's it's an iconic stadium. I I've enjoyed playing here, even when I've played teams where I'm playing as an against team, as an away team. I have enjoyed it. So yes, and also the magnitude of the match, the importance of it, and hence this press conference, because we're done with it now. Everything about Kuwait and our match because it's hugely important. Think about it, guys. We win this one, we go to the third round almost. We've never done this, so. If not Calcutta, if not Kolkata, then where? This is a huge game, and and uh, yeah. But this wasn't the first thought. The first thought was for myself that I want to, I want to end my career. Looking ahead, what style of football do you think is most suitable to the Indian national team? Do you think we should focus on a more possession-based style? And the other question is, 
for the future of Indian football, how important is it that Indians play abroad? How was your own experience in uh, Portugal? Uh, it seemed like you uh, went to another level after returning from Portugal. It seems like one of those Pythagoras theorem questions, man, with a 15 marks question where you have to remember everything. All right, where do I start? I'm so sorry, man. What was the second part of the question? The first part. The first question was looking ahead to the style of football. Okay, let me let me answer that. I personally, individually, like the positions in football. That's me, individually talking. How does our national team should play? Completely depends on the coach. Are we capable of doing that? Very much. Subhashish, Liston, Thapa, Sahal, Manveer, Tangri, Anwar. They play for Mohan Bagan. They played against Juan Fran, the coach, where it was a completely different style. They did all right. Then Hawas coach came in and they had a completely different style. They did well. If you give enough time and information, these boys, the young ones, are smart enough, sensible enough and hungry enough to adapt. It takes time. What is important is the coach's philosophy and the players to be in sync. That is pivotal. That is the most important thing. It does not matter what the style is. What matters is the whole team is on the same page. Real Madrid plays a very unique way. But it works for them. They have players like that. Man City plays in a different way. Liverpool plays in a different way. But they have players. The one common factor in all these three teams are the coach, what the coach wants. And uh, what the coach wants and uh, what the players are doing, they're all in sync. And the team succeeds. So, as far as national team is concerned, I want a good atmosphere. I want all the boys to come over here and, and, and feel happy and a room to express an, a good culture and the coaching, the coach and the coaching staff and the players to be in sync. And that will guarantee us more victories than losses. How important is it for Indian players to go and play abroad? It is not very, very important. It is not hugely important. But if it happens, it's good. It should happen organically and it will happen. It will happen. What is really helping us is that even the league is getting better. When you get good influx of, of, of talent from outside, whether it's coaching or whether it's the players, it helps the teams and the boys to do well. But eventually it will happen. You know, all the players who do really well at an early age in our country system, they will venture out. It's as simple as that. The more younger we identify the talent, the more faster they will do well in our own domestic circuit and then they will fly away. It is, that's what happened to all. That's a, a common phenomena blueprint for all the top all the top Asian teams whose players are playing outside. It will happen. It will take time. But the good thing is, simultaneously, even the league is getting better. For our football to improve, all of us, and I've, told, I've said this 100 million times, all of us stakeholders, including me as, as a player and you guys as as people who report about it, people who write about it, all of us have to come together. Slowly and steadily we improve, the football will improve. Once the football will improve, people are going to venture out. You know, they will. Pick three most glittering moments of your career, best moments of your career. The first time that I played for my country, that will always be memorable. All the three times that we have qualified for the Asia Cup. And I hope, as I said, 8th June, I can tell you that match against Kuwait was also memorable. What was the discussion like with uh, Stimach regarding your retirement? Was there a consideration for you to play on until the Qatar game uh, in on June 11? No, because when I, when I went to him, he understood. There is a... He understood when I went to him and talked about it. And it gives me and a lot of players a lot of freedom about expressing ourselves. He knows how, how badly I want to play for my country. Even when in some games, he substitutes me on 70 minutes rightly because he can see better, I'm never happy. And uh, he knows 
whether it's a foot volleyball in training whether it's a five a side whether whenever he wants me to rest because of my age and i don't like it and i play he knows how badly i i i want to play even times when i should rest i don't so when i did go to him and i told him that this is going to be my last game he understood he was uh, also because he's a player he understood it so it was a nice very short chat he understood and he said okay let's make sure we all come together and let's make sure that we win the game for for the country on the 6th can i can i can i say something in the last part also he knows that we have built a team in 5 years a lot of players who will do well when i'm not there people are going to fill it and and i'm and i genuinely mean it and we'll see it the team is rightly poised at the right place every position has two or three players who are doing well sadly we have some important injuries right now i don't want to start taking names but a mishra or rashik or a, or a jingan who have been here for a longer time are important to us uh, but all the places have uh, two or three options and all of them are doing really well so we'll be fine you have been a mentor and a leader for the national team do you have any plans to venture into coaching or sports management in the near future as for now no but i am i'm 40 years old and i have learned to never say never because then after that life happens uh as i said when i do i take the sabbatical i will think i probably would want to do the coaching license just to be more knowledgeable uh but not with the with the thought or the hope or the dream of becoming a coach i have put an alarm for 6 o'clock and slept at 10 and took immense amount of pressure for the last 23 years and be a coach and take every year 10 times more no you see all the coaches they come so handsome and one year they lose their hair they lose their everything i for now when i'm talking to you i do not want that kind of attention so i would want to relax so coaching is not in 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 higher ranks of my agenda but i will do the batches uh, i will do the management stuff i did one of the courses i will keep doing courses i love to learn so i'll i'll keep doing that but uh, yeah coaching is like 10 times playing in 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 one year you get older as i said i i, I still want to be the most good looking so i don't want to lose hair and i don't want to lose my sleep what would be your opinion if you were given a chance to be the head coach of the indian national team hmm. right now no there is no opinion uh it's not easy man coaching is not i'm not talking about national team but just coaching coaching is not easy as i've grown older i've am i proximity towards coaches that i've played under in the last 5 years has increased uh i see their work more i mix with them more and i see the pressure and and the time and energy you need to put in it is not easy as a player you know you think about yourself and a little bit of team here and there a coach is thinking about 30 players every day day and it's it's not easy so thank you for what you said but i will join the the, the, the fan brigade it's the easier part i'll go to national team matches and and, and scream and 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 i cheer them up did you have a chat with virat kohli uh, after uh, before taking the retirement decision yeah i did one i did it because we are quite close now we talk about these things because i think we both understand the next person the other person will understand it exactly the way it is so the ups and downs of sports this part of retirement uh when we chat we do understand that the other person understands it uh so yeah i did speak to him and i wish him all the best for 18th uh he says hello captain you are the most uh... consistent player in the current generation also you are an icon for young footballers nowadays what uh, so what do you want to say to the next generation for those who are taking inspiration enjoy the game play because you love it always keep this as the first reason when you are in doubt follow the first reason when you think you are too good follow the first reason when i think you 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 too bad follow the first reason play because you love this game the rest everything will follow all the other information and the knowledge it's around you it's a great era to be alive there is so much of information there is so much of 
everything you need is there don't worry and things will fall in the right places just play because you love this game now these former players come into administration uh, do you want to come into football administration because the administrative part will play a crucial role in indian football in the future do i want to right now no but do i want to work on it and be better yes which you way that i come back to indian football directly or indirectly i want to first learn about it i want to first see whether i am good at it whether i want it or not and then only jump into things i that's 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 really really in my head that this is the way i want it i i don't just want to come in because he was the captain of the country and has played 150 games i was good at football that's why i've done this i'm not good at other things i'm not and i know it so unless and until i think that i'm decent enough in anything i won't jump and i said football has given me so much that i don't need to jump i can take this sabbatical i can relax and i'm not trying to sound lazy because i'm i'm anything but not lazy but i just want to be clear in my head that this is what i want i'm good at it if i'm not i want to be at least decently good and then jump into it you had spoken about wishing that your boy was a bit older so that you could uh, he so that he could experience these moments with you uh, so in the future when he's old enough to realize the grave value of those moments what would be the one moment you will tell him about i hope that's if he thinks that i added value you know youngsters man <laughs> uh if it does ask me you know what dad you did well and and then tell me about something that you did well then i think at the top most would be that i've played 150 games for my country and to be honest if he asks me or if he doesn't if anyone wants to know or if they would want to know no one can take that away from me that i have played 150 times for my country and i'm extremely proud of it i am extremely i know i'm 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 fortunate i'm privileged but i'm so proud of it and no matter what happens tomorrow no one can take that away from me so if my kid asks me i will tell him about this once the games which tournament would you consider as the toughest and why oh, see tough means tough has many meanings tough also means a very important game that we had to win tough means that we were doing we were all right and then we we i'm just giving a pretext but tough in genuine tough means where we had no clue as to what was going on and we got battered i think it was 4-1 korea and if you ask that batch they will tell you asia cup 4-1 when that that we lost against south korea was one game where where i thought what is happening you know generally you feel that stuff you feel that you you are the underdog you feel that you have to defend 90 minutes and stuff like that but that was one game we had no clue what was happening so toughness in terms of or what's happening in the game i think south korea in the asia cup was was that game you mentioned that indian players are not getting chances in the clubs to play in the striker position generally uh, we see that the positions are taken up by foreign players what can uh, indian football beat isl or iff do to give those youngsters uh, more chances to develop their skills you know i i, I have stopped uh, so when i'm with the players i don't talk about what the club should do or what the management should do i've stopped talking about that what i tell the players is you got to step up and i know it's not easy for a number 9 because i've played number 9 majority of my life and i know it's not easy i know every club has one or two number 9 as a foreigner already and foreigner is a choice you can choose whoever you want and you spend a lot of money i understand the dynamics it's not going to be easy but then once you beat that mentality and perform you have no idea how you're going to do so my appeal to them whenever i talk to them is forget things that you can't control go on manveer talk to your coach say i want to play a number 9 go on shiva come and demand to the coach i want to play number 9 because you have shown that you can do it go on vikram pratap try okay you did well as a as a left winger say that i want to play a number 9 see if you want 
first of course see if you want or not and if you do go and ask and and, and, and compete because you're good look at chanthi 10 goals in two season back to back he is the most important player when it comes to goals for mumbai not that you can't do it look at manveer so not that the players can't do it i just want to change i just want a change in their mentality just think that you're competing against a player them being foreigners or the coach thinking about them in a different manner is something that you can't control leave it you just do your work and especially in the national team when you come because somebody has to take my place the good thing is a lot of them are are, are good enough and are eager and it's 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 the is the job of the coach and the entire team to build on the number 9 and a few options but you want you have to want it and you have to want it bad so that's the way i look at it when i talk to the players and as far as the as the management the club is concerned you can't say much it depends on the dynamics it depends on how, how you want to play if you have two good foreign defenders and a good number 6 you might play rahim ali as a number 9 for chennai uh if you have some holes here and there and if you have to play with two defenders as dfc did shiva played all games as a number 9 last last year so it depends on all the dynamics and you can't you can't ask too much from the club because they are in a business of making a team and winning trophies so i always tell the players make sure you step up man and why not it's the best place to score goals is the best thing to get more chances the best thing so why not your future plans in the isl do not finish number 9th oh we are hurting man i'm not sure whether bfc is going to like me saying this but we are hurting right from our from our boss to the ball boy it has done tremendous bad to to our health to our mental health to our ego and everything and of course no one else to blame but for ourselves especially the players so we want to come back uh i know the coaching the coaching staff and the coach will not like me saying this but july 1 we are we are going to the pre season with from day 1 we finished 9th and and it has really hurt us like proper hurt us all of us all of us are hurting at bfc and i know this so the immediate target is get to july 1 get to the pre season and start from day 1 any friendly any ex- exhibition game any isl game any during we can't we can't wait 7 8 out of 10 years we had some we had had seen some great times and that 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 really makes it difficult when you have a time like what we had last year so yeah how difficult was the night before your uh, uh, retirement announcement were you able to sleep that wasn't difficult the difficult day was when i told myself announcement came one month after i decided after i decided i would have announced it but then i got chicken pox and 15 18 days i was just in a room isolated crying and eating shit to become fat then i took 12 14 days to get fitter so that i can look like a human being and then when i announced it i was already in peace that's why you can see me really calm because i was just enjoying the adulation and the affection that i got in the last two days the difficult part was when i told myself that this is it i am generally somebody who doesn't get emotional but that day was tough that day was really tough and uh, the following day was tougher because i had to tell my my lovely wife and my amazing parents uh, and after that it's fine every day it's is every day it's fading away and 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 it will go there'll be a surge around 6th and then it will fade away it's all right i had my i had my time i have enjoyed it i got everything that i that i ever more than what i even thought of i had some great time so it's okay everything moves on life moves on to the next one thank you so much for the 19 years guys just a small request make sure you show the same love same affection same interest same questions to everyone and everything beyond me for the national team because one thing is for sure what i want and what you want for the national team is the same 
So thank you for the 19 years and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the 6th. Bye-bye.